Hello, thanks for watching the video. Well, we've got this yellow jacket's nest. I can't even tell where the nest is at, but there's uh, some uh, pretty uh, active yellow jackets. One just flew right by me. There's at least three right there. Um, someone parks their car here and they got out of the car and were stung numerous times. Uh, that's kind of how we discovered them. So um, I've got this rescue yellow jacket trap that I'm going to try out today and we're going to read some instructions and try to hang it up and get rid of these yellow jackets. Here's what we get with the trap. Here's a little bit about it. Non-toxic mode of action. More effective than traps baited with food alone. It lasts for weeks without daily maintenance. Catches queens and workers spring to fall. No killing agents. Insects die naturally. Attractant included. All right, so we're gonna follow the instructions here on how to load or bait the trap. So uh, you take the top off. And by the way, let me show you what came with the trap. Just the instructions and the attractant. That's what I had uh, inside the trap. So you unscrew the bottom base part of it. Then there's the cone in here. Uh, the cone just yeah, just pull it out. So it goes in these slots. So with the base, you have to have, or you, I guess uh, it says to put a cotton ball in here. This was my last cotton ball, by the way, so glad I got one. Uh, so yeah, you put the cotton ball in there like you see here and then we will open the attractant tube now we're going to try to do this with just the attractant that uh, they provided if this doesn't work so well then we will uh, try to use some food I'm going to cut the attractant tube right here we've cut the end of the tube off here we're ready to put this into our cotton uh, I thought it was going to be a gel but this is uh, a liquid so uh, be prepared for it to spill out like you saw me do there all right so uh, like I said we're not going to try any meat yet but if we want to use meat later there's little spikes right here that you roll the meat on or roll the meat up and then push them down on these spikes. As far as the smell of the attractant, I've never smelled anything like that before. It's a, it's a chemical smell. That's actually what it is. And next we just take the loaded bottom of it, cat base, whatever you call it, and screw it on. There we go. Perfect. All right. That's all there is to it. So here's where I set the trap. I've got uh, that coat hanger there hanging from the top up there. Not the most ideal situation. It goes through this little hole in the top. All right. So what will happen is the yellow jackets will uh, come through the holes you see on the bottom here to get to the attractant. It's in our cup. There's one flying around right there. It's following me. But yeah, there's holes in the bottom. And I just put that out like three minutes ago and they're, they're swarming now. They're really active, so they already smell that. So I just got some valuable information that I didn't know about. The person that got stung just informed me that they uh, they saw the nest in a birdhouse. So I thought the birdhouse was still behind those cans where I put the uh, bait uh, trap. But then I'm walking down here and I see this bird's nest right here. So I picked that up thinking, well, 
this has to be the bird's nest they're talking about. I didn't know that they moved it. And I saw some coming out of there. They weren't very aggressive, matter of fact. So I don't know if it's in here or not, but some are in there. And the entry is very small. I don't know if the queen is in there by herself now, or if they're still up there, but uh, we're gonna have to find out. So we're gonna use the sledgehammer here to do just that. Check them out. They were in there. Certainly were. Those apparently are not workers. And the queen more than likely is in there. See it flying around? Ooh. There's the nest. They're very docile. One of those could be the queen. Could be. Very docile. So most of them, I guess, have already abandoned the nest. So, maybe our trap is going to be useless now. Maybe there's not even uh, any reason. These guys are just hanger-ons here, and they will probably be gone. We'll leave it there. Um, let them get in there if they want to. But as far as the nest goes, I didn't know about that. Now we do, so it's probably better. Anyway, I'll check back with another update. Next day here we're looking at our trap and absolutely nothing in there. No yellow jackets. Um, now, they are still flying around here. I don't know really what's happening with them. I don't know if they're still just hanger-ons uh, that haven't figured it out yet, or if they are actually trying to build another nest, or if they were two nests. Um, but there are still some around here. Um, I'm going to go ahead and take this base off, and we're going to put some fruit in here and see if that's going to help. So we've got the bottom part off here. We've got some ham on one of the spikes and we've got some rotting banana on the other spike. Wanted to make sure that uh, it's stabilized and it's not going to fall into that attractant or the cotton ball there. We want to keep that open. So no real success. Just put some fruit in the trap and we don't have a lot of steering around. Maybe three or four yellow jackets. I think we did get the nest yesterday, and so these are just uh, kind of hanging around. Now I'm going to do some jabbing here to see if there's another nest under here. I can see this uh, like an old blanket. There may be one under there, but I can't follow them and see where they're going to. There is a what I think maybe a dirt dauber nest here. That's not theirs. So, yeah, as you can see, there's not a whole lot of activity. I think what happened was we got rid of the nest yesterday in that birdhouse. Uh, there's no reason for them to actually get out, I guess, and collect food. They're trying to figure out what to do with themselves. Since there's no nest, they're confused, so they're just flying around where the nest used to be. You know, the queen apparently is not uh, with them anymore but uh, all this is still to be determined because 
we're going to do some probing here and see if we can find out what's happening. All right, so we're going to go here with here. Here is where. Oh. Yeah, all we have is like two or three flying around. So that kind of explains why we don't have any in here. There's no real reason for them to uh, go out and forage and uh, you know bring back any kind of nectar food or anything like that. So we'll keep, uh, I'll keep watching here and uh, we're going to end the video here pretty soon. I'll kind of give an update of what, uh, what I think may have happened. That's pretty much what ha I think happened. But if something comes up, I'll get back. So uh, stay tuned. Yeah, if there was, there was still a nest, they would be swarming me now. There's nothing happening here. Thought about turning that air conditioner on. So uh, they're just hanging out because they have nowhere to go. They're not interested in getting any food. Probably won't see any in there. That doesn't mean uh, that our trap doesn't work. Um, hopefully you were able to see uh, how to assemble the trap and see some of the instructions on it. Thank you for watching. That was the Rescue Reusable Yellow Jacket Trap. Um, easy to uh, use, and if you want to buy additional attractant in the little tubes, um, you can purchase that separately. That is available. Anyway, thank you for watching. Until next time, have a nice day. Take care.